Well, anesthesia is a broad term. There are many ways of providing that type of service to a patient, and most patients certainly appreciate that when they're going for surgery, that they want to be, quote, anesthetized. Being anesthetized can be where one is actually awake and under regional anesthesia. For instance, people have heard the term spinal or epidural anesthesia or regional anesthetic such as a block. And those types of anesthetics are performed uh, sort of custom tailored to the patient's own individual needs, their physiology, their underlying diseases, the surgeon's needs, and what is proper fitting and safe. So the term uh, general anesthesia generally implies five specific states that the patient is in. One, where they're not conscious. Two, where they don't move. They're essentially uh, paralyzed or their muscle movements are inhibited. Three, where they don't feel pain. Four, where they don't remember. And five, where their vital functions, we call it the autonomic nervous system, is tranquilized and controlled. So those five things are what general anesthesia basically implies.